Happy Thursday, you guys. Today is obviously Thursday. I had the day off, if you didn't know. I'm a nurse and I have every Tuesday and Thursday off. Today I am doing some stuff around the house, outside. It's a beautiful day. It is November 19th and it is 70 degrees outside today. So my plan is to get some stuff done around the house as well as outside and I need to go to town to get some stuff from there. And I'm trying to decide what town I want to go to, if I wanna to go to a like, small town just to grab some grocery things or if I want to go to a bigger town. I thought I would take you guys along with me for the day and yeah, so let's go. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. We are going to my mom's brother's house for Thanksgiving and each family is in charge of bringing like different food items. So I think we are in charge of green bean casserole, stuffing, and then I am gonna bring an apple pie because I made a bunch of apple pie filling earlier this year. Well, at the end of last month, I believe which this will be my first time making a pie. And I'm probably not gonna make the pie from scratch, like the crust, but the inside will be from scratch. And I think that is saying a lot. So right now what I'm doing is I am just making a list of all the things that I want to get done today, as well as a shopping list. Sorry for the angle. I have this little like sticky thing that sits on my dashboard that holds my phone when I run my GPS that my grandma got me for my birthday. I actually fixed the angle. I stuck something behind it. So hopefully this stays up. But anyway, I have my seatbelt on, friends. I don't want you to think that I don't because a lot of times if I post a video when I'm driving, everybody thinks I don't wear seatbelts. But I have a really bad habit and I know it's not good. That's why it is called a bad habit of slipping it under my arm like this. And then from your guys' angle, in return, you guys think I don't wear a seatbelt, but I do. I do know the importance of a seatbelt. It just hits my neck it has since I was a child, and that is where the habit formed. I am on my way to a town. I decided to go to a smaller town, just with like a local grocery shop. There's only a couple miles from my house rather than driving 30 miles. And my dad informed me that he is digging a grave right next to this town. So I thought I'd stop and say hi to him on the way. And also, because I have not filmed like with this little setup, I apologize if it is loud, but I live on gravel, so that's just the way it is. will be is he working or is he hardly working cast your votes down below it's been a long time since I've gone to a cemetery to hang out with my dad I used to come here a lot as a kid and my brother and I would collect worms from the holes that the casket was going in there they are they're way over here really thinking I'm here to visit someone and I am I'm here to visit them. What a nugget. Filming on the job. Look at this. Sable does all the work while my dad just walks around measuring stuff. This brings me back to my childhood of finding worms with my brother. I think it's gonna be perfect summer. 
Hammer. Six foot deep and eight foot long. I made it back in the vehicle. I'm gonna head into town to get my groceries. Pretty much I just stopped by, said hi to my dad. I've been here for practically an hour. I just sat and watched him dig a grave. I couldn't really help or do anything because I did not wear the appropriate clothes. But it's okay, it was a beautiful day. It is, my vehicle says it's currently 66 degrees. And so it'd be silly not to be outside today. Let's go to the grocery store, get my list, to go home. I'll show you what I got. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do from there. Cause I need to do some stuff outside today. I made it back from the grocery store and so I thought I'd show you guys everything that I got and then my Thrive Market order came in so I thought I'd show you guys what I got from there as well. So from the grocery store, there's only a few things that I got. I got some green beans. I'm in charge of bringing the green bean casserole and then I got some cream of mushroom because that is part of the recipe. And then I got the french fried onions that go on top. Do you guys have green bean casserole at your guys' Thanksgiving? We do every year. Jay will actually make it. And then I also got some stuffing because my mom is bringing the dressing and I am bringing the stuffing. And this is super simple. And then the last thing that I got from the grocery store was just some pie crust since I'm gonna bring some apple pie. And then I was gonna show you guys that my Thrive Market order came in. So like I said, all of these things in this box are from Thrive Market, which if you don't know what Thrive Market is, it's an online membership based marketplace where you can get things like groceries, they have stuff, home stuff, supplements, makeup, like all the things. One thing that I love about Thrive in particular is all the things that you get from there are like the real deal. They don't have any extra added ingredients that don't need to be in there, which is important to me, especially because I've been trying to make the effort to really watch what I'm putting into my body because if I put crap into my body, I feel like crap. Thrive Market takes the guessing out of that for me and I don't have to pay attention to ingredient labels as much. Before I show you guys what I got, I just have a couple more things to say about it because I think that their company is good. They have two membership options. One is a yearly membership and the other one is a monthly membership. We had the yearly membership, it's 50 bucks. And with the savings that you have on their products because their products are 25 to 50% discount compared to what you would get them for in store, you save that like right away with the discount. So that is awesome. They have different dietary options like if you're gluten-free, keto, vegan, paleo, they have categories that you can pick from. So the first thing that I got is something I have never tried before. I always pick out something that I've never had off of the website just to give it a try. And so I picked these protein sticks, which they kind of look like Cheetos, but they're plant-based and they have seven grams of protein and three grams of fiber and the ingredients are all straightforward. There's nothing on here that I have to read and go, what is that? And why is it in my food? So I'm excited to try these because it says they're spicy and I love spicy food. And then the next thing that I got, I got for Jay to try because Jay loves ramen noodles. And so these are a healthier alternative and so I got him these rice ramen noodle bowls and I don't know if they'll be good or not, but it is worth a shot. They were cheap and the ingredients, I love them. So hopefully he likes these. And then I got two more food items. I got this avocado spray because I don't use things like Pam and I changed out all my oils for avocado oil because there's a lot of health benefits, which I would recommend to look up, like the harmful stuff that most of sprays have in them. So I'm excited to give this a try. The other food item that I got, because I have a package of stuff to make clam chowder, I needed clams, and so I just thought I would add this to my order while I was on there. And these are wild caught, which I'm excited about that. Then I got some cornstarch, 
and all of their baking stuff on their site like their sugar and flour and things like that is all organic the cornstarch though i'm not gonna cook with i actually make my own dry shampoo and cornstarch is the main ingredient and i didn't have any more so i thought i'd pick up a bag of this because i'm almost out of my dry shampoo and the last two things that i got i got some laundry detergent this is just a big two pound bag and it's concentrated so you hardly need any and it was cheap it was like four bucks and all the ingredients are perfect has no added dyes or color additives gluten-free vegan safe for the septic tank no added phthalates no added sls no added parabens and no added petroleum and then it's also fragrance free which something that is so important on my list if you guys have netflix check out the episode like show called stink and you will learn about fragrance but it is a huge hormone disruptor and if you didn't know your skin is your largest organ on your body and so I am so picky about what I put on my body when it comes to my lotion, my laundry detergent, deodorant, all those things. I will not settle for anything that is not going to do my body good. And so this was something that, especially for the price, I was like, heck yes, put it in my order. Then the last thing that I got, I actually got two bags of these. I got dish detergent and this also has all those same things that i said earlier about the laundry detergent another important thing to me is what i put on my dishes because you're eating off of that and that goes into your body and i don't want harmful chemicals going in my body i don't know why laundry like dish detergents you need a lemon scent because i don't want lemon scent on my food i don't know so this i'm excited about this two bags of that and my whole box i think cost me it was like $35 or something and then they do offer free shipping over $50 purchase but if you guys have not heard of Thrive I highly recommend looking into it I have a link down below and if you actually use that link and sign up and spend over $50 I believe you get a free $24 gift take your guys's health into your own hands because I want you to be healthy, especially during this season, and I want you to feel good. So that is what I got for my groceries. For my laundry detergent, I just got this glass jar from Hobby Lobby. It was like three bucks. And then I had bought some measuring cups from the Dollar Tree and they had an extra one. So I just have this little spoon I will put in here to scoop it out. person that is interested in living more of a healthy lifestyle but have had the mindset of it is too expensive to live healthy essential oils and things like that a lot of people have that mindset that it's expensive and although it might seem expensive up front it ends up being cheaper if not the same but anyway that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day thrive would be something to look into because this thing of laundry detergent was only like three or four bucks and it is perfectly healthy so you would be able to switch this out really easy someday i will have to do a video on my like non-toxic laundry routine i guess you could call it and then it did come with a scoop but i'm gonna use this one it is a fourth of a teaspoon and then i don't really think you need as much as they say you do um but we don't have really dirty laundry so I've always used concentrated laundry detergents and you hardly need any and it really seems like backwards because you're like putting it in and you think oh gosh this isn't going to do anything but it does and so I'm just going to do two scoops of this in my laundry and this will last me a long time this says 70 loads so this will probably last me double that because there's other things I do with my laundry routine that make it so I don't need the half a scoop or 17 grams of this half an ounce is what it says you need which is half of this little scooper and i have like another part of my laundry routine which i'll have to show you guys sometime because of that i only need the half a teaspoon <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
There, so much better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change my clothes, at least my top, into something that I want to wear outside. Because I'm gonna go pick up sticks for a little bit since it is nice out. If you guys have not seen the video, a derecho hit the area that I live in August and every time the wind picks up, more and more branches fall down. And so I've been trying to stay on top of picking them up so this spring we are not picking up thousands and thousands of branches. And I have my little helper to help me outside. Yes, you do. Let's go. The wind has picked up outside, so I'm gonna talk in the truck, but I'm gonna show you guys how many sticks I picked up. Part of it was from a pile that we've been making, and then the rest is from around the yard. What are you doing? Definitely there is going to be a lot of branches to pick up come spring. At least we're staying on top of it and so now I'm gonna drive these over to my in-laws house. They have this huge pile of branches like from the storm and from just cleanup in general. And so I'm gonna go unload this and um, be glad that they're out of my lawn. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I completed everything that I wanted to do that was around the house and outside, so I think I'm gonna just call it a night. Come here, do you wanna say hello? The cat. Anyway, thanks for joining along and I will see you guys next week. Peace.